if you want to increase conversions on your website or to your landing page and you don't have a lot of traffic, you can't really run A-B tests. Here's the thing about running A-B tests. If you want to run very successful tests, you have to have a couple of things in place. You have to have quite a lot of traffic and you should be able to have at least 150 conversions per variation. That means that if you are now trying to test your homepage that you already have versus a new variation, in order for it to be statistically significant, in order for the test to be real and validated, you would have to have at least 150 conversions per variation to make a decision which one is right and which isn't. What is working better and what isn't. When it comes to increasing conversions on our website, a lot of us think that we have to run A-B tests. We have to be able to run very successful A-B tests, drive a lot of traffic to the website and check one variation versus the other and get a statistical significance. Is it true? Yes, it would be wonderful if everyone in the world could run a statistically significant A-B test where you would send 50% of your traffic to the control, 50% to a new variant, and see in real time what's working and what isn't. But in the world where we're not all booking.com or Amazon, most of us don't have high volume traffic to run A-B tests, especially if you are just getting started, if you are a B2B service, if you're a freelancer, if you're a service company, if you're a client service company, we don't always have the traffic to run uh, A-B tests on your site. But that doesn't mean that you cannot optimize the website. So to give you some idea, if you have enough traffic on your website where you would get at least 150 conversions per variation, fantastic, great, go ahead, use one of the tools and start A-B testing. If you do not have more than 300 conversions a month on your website of the same conversion, that means 300 signups, 300 demo requests, 300 email subscribers, you will not be able to run statistically significant tests. But you can, however, make strategic changes to your website and then go back and look at the changes. It's not as good as running tests, but it is as proficient because you can run surveys, you can interview your customers, you can do user testing, you can change big parts of your funnel and then go back and see the difference. So if you don't have a lot of traffic and you want to optimize your website, I would suggest going into Google Analytics, identifying the biggest page on your website that isn't working, isn't converting, and then setting up heat maps. Watch user recordings from that heat map. Then look at what people are clicking on, how far they're scrolling, and identify the specific problems people have on that page and make logical decisions to change them. Get five people to take a look at the page who could be your prospects or customers and ask them what's working, what's not working on the page. Ask them to perform tasks on your website to see how people actually use your website and what isn't working and then make the changes. Try and make bigger changes if you don't have a lot of traffic because then you can actually measure, go back into Google Analytics and see what the big difference that you made, what impact it had on your revenue. And then once you've made this big strategic change, you can go into Google Analytics and see the difference, the impact that it has had on your website. My name is Talia Wolf and I'm a conversion optimization specialist. I help companies all over the world like Teamwork, Mercedes, Thinkific, Fiverr, and many others optimize their funnels and 10 times their conversions, revenue, and sales. I've spoken on stages all over the world, Harvard, Google, and others to teach my method of emotional marketing. If you want to learn how to do it yourself, join me, subscribe to this channel, and I would be happy to help you and teach you all of my secrets. If you have any more questions about running A-B tests, if you can do it, if you can't, or how to optimize your website, if you have low traffic, leave them in the comments below and I will answer gladly. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.